Hello and welcome to another session in English language. And today our focus is on first stress pattern on the speech work. Then we'll also consider more on active and passive voices. Then also we'll look at prefixes and lastly article writing. Before all of that, let us review the previous lesson. Welcome back. So we begin the session with stress pattern. Okay, we begin with stress pattern. Okay, so let's look at what this is all about. It's about placement of the stress. Okay, and we place them on syllables. Okay, so we divide the words first into what you call syllables, and the stress falls on one of the syllables. Okay, and the, the syllable that is stressed is pronounced longer and louder. So the syllable that receives the stress is pronounced longer and louder. So let's begin with that. So for words that are two syllable words. Most times they are either simple adjectives, adverbs, or prepositions. We stress the first syllable when the second syllable contains a short vowel or ends in a consonant. For instance, enter. Okay, enter. All right, so the stress falls on the first syllable, enter. Envy. Open, equal, All right? So, sometimes when the two-syllable verb ends in diphthong, oh, you stress also the first syllable. Follow, borrow, okay? Then, when you have the second syllable, you know, containing a long vowel sound, or a deep tone, then it's more likely that the stress will fall on the last syllable. Okay, fall on the last syllable. Let's take examples. We have withdraw, right? Invite, contact, ally. So all these are examples of, so you can see them written in uppercase letter, just to distinguish them. So every attempt, so you write the second, that's the, the final syllable is what receives the stress, okay? Especially when it ends with a long vowel or a diphthong, okay? So that's that. Then we have three syllable verbs. Resurrect, okay, resurrect, resurrect, entertain, encounter, encounter, determine, we could have, we should stress the first syllable if the second syllable contains a short vowel, many, okay, contains a short syllable, product, Short label, larynx, estate, balloon, design. So every time you have a short vowel ending, so you stress the second syllable. That is the penultimate syllable. Then we have um, a situation where the last syllable contains a short vowel or the diphthong. Oh, okay. The stress falls on the penultimate um, syllable. For instance, potato is on te. Potato. Disaster. Bonanza. 
no bonanza bonanza okay appointment okay so if this label containing the short vowel contains not more than one consonant then stress the syllable that's the first syllable i'll give an example stress the first syllable quantity okay so it contains a short vowel but you just have to uh, stress the first okay exercise emperor Cinema, scholarship, custody. So these are examples of that. So let's move on to what you call active and passive voices. Like I told you, voice refers to who is performing the action, okay, and who is receiving the action that was performed, okay. And we have Dairo killed the snake as an example. Now, killed is a regular verb. That's number one. It's also what a transitive verb. So, Dairo killed the snake, active voice. In the passive voice, becomes a snake was killed by Dairo. Okay? A snake was killed by Dairo. So, here we have a couple of that's the contrast between the active voice and the passive voice. We have the first one, Bola prepared dinner. So it becomes dinner was prepared by Bola. Shadi wrote a letter. The letter was written by Shadi. Daddy is building the house. The house is being built by Daddy. Shola makes beats. Beats are made by Shola. Now, here are the rules we must observe, okay, when changing from active voice to passive voice. Number one, there's a swap of positions. There's an exchange, a swap of, this is what is not swap, a swap, okay, a swap of positions, okay, between the subject and the word object. Then also the tense of both voices must be the same. Okay, so you check the tense, which is the time the action was what performed. Is it present, past, or future? Okay. Then also the introductory paragraph okay, should also be captivating. Okay. Then one of the things you need to know is that in form of the verb to be is also introduced in the passive voice okay so that is that about that now let's focus on prefix now a prefix is a group of letters or what you call word elements attached to the root word to give it a, a, a new meaning okay to give it a new meaning for instance we have happy when you add you to it it changes not just the meaning of that word but it changes also the the class so we have happy an adjective unhappy okay by adding you that means she's not happy untrue it's not true we have dis added to verbs it means not okay discomfort means no comfort dislike no like okay we have none none also means not we have nonsense that means it's not making sense non smoker okay then we have miss which is used for wrong like mismanage mislead it's negative okay then we have Mal, which means bad, which means bad. Okay, so we have malfunction or maltreat means it's bad. Okay, 
we have super, which means exceeding supernatural, exceeding natural, superman, exceeding natural man. Out, it's exceed, outdo, outlive. We are focusing on exceeding. Okay, then we have sub, which means below, substandard, subhuman. Then we have what you call hyper, which is what beyond. Hypertension, beyond tension, hyperactive, beyond what active. Anti, anti you have against, you have antisocial, and we have anti viral. Okay, so that is that about that. So let's move on to the next, and which is the last on article writing. Like I told you, articles is a piece of writing meant to be published. Magazines, journals, newspapers, etc. Now, what are the basic features of article writing? Like we said, must have a heading, and the heading must be written in uppercase letters. Then also, you must have an introductory paragraph. Then also, the body should contain at least three well-developed paragraphs, okay, as the content of your writing, okay? And remember, you should also have a concluding paragraph, okay? So once you conclude, then you write your full name, your class, school town, City as institution may require. So let's look at the topic women in politics. Women in politics. So, first, we talk about women in politics, then we move on to the introduction that man should man have dominated the political space for too long. Okay. Then we'll look at the effects of what men's domination. Then we'll also look at the need for women's involvement. Okay, equality, less corruption, compassionate, talent use, etc. So challenge the audience. So with this, we've come to the end of today's lesson. And to refresh your memory and recall all that was taught in the lesson today. I would encourage and love that you take the test that would appear on your screen.